Route 1, the way it could be. Uh, that's the title of a presentation that was given to the Town Council on February 11, 2013. Hello, my name is Theo Holtweg and I'm Director of Long Range Planning and I'm here to give you a summarized version of that same presentation of uh, February 11th uh, that was prepared by the Community Development Committee for the other town council members. This particular project uh, pertains to the Falmouth Business District from about the uh, Turnpike Spur to Route 88. Uh, this particular project uh, is subject to a redevelopment and uh, this project has property taxes uh, that have been designated since 2000 for such a purpose. The Community Development Committee has been studying this area for the past 10 years or so and is currently offering a proposal for public comment and authorization. I'm going to review the proposal uh, with you here today. The Community Development Committee, which consists of three town councillors, has been working on two pieces uh, of the Route 1 puzzle, two parallel tracks, if you will. One we call infrastructure, and that pertains to the public street. Um, for that component, uh, there is a proposed referendum in June of 2013 that is required by town charter that would ask Falmouth voters to spend funds on Route 1 infrastructure improvements, even though no new taxes would be required to fund such a project. As I mentioned, uh, the project would be paid for with money already set aside specifically for improvements in the Route 1 business district. The second piece of the puzzle is zoning. Zoning are the uh, land use rules that the town has on the books that will govern uh, private development along Route 1. A comprehensive set of zoning changes is currently being worked on to help create a village and those amendments would be voted on by the town council. Again, the infrastructure piece would go to the Falmouth voters, and the zoning piece would go to the town council. Here is our approximate timeline. We uh, expect that Falmouth voters on June 11th of this year will be asked to vote to expand money on an infrastructure plan that the town council by around May of this year will be asked to vote on approving or not uh, Route 1 zoning amendments. What does the infrastructure plan include? Right now the Community Development Committee is thinking that it would include uh, some landscaped center median islands with left turn opportunities. As probably most of you know, currently Route 1 is a three lane road where the center lane is a continuous opportunity to make left turns uh, into uh, the businesses along Route 1. And sometimes uh, people approach that from the north and sometimes they approach it from the south and sometimes they do it both at the same time. Uh, landscaped center median islands would help to regulate where that could occur and is intended to make Route 1 a safer traffic environment. Wider handicapped accessible sidewalks are also being proposed. Uh, crosswalks at various uh, key locations are being proposed along with pedestrian lighting and street trees. And stormwater retrofits, uh, stormwater areas where it's being collected and stored or where it's being filtered into the ground are being uh, considered as part of this plan. Along with upgraded traffic signal mast arms. As we know currently the traffic signals hang from cables at the intersections of Bucknam Road and uh, Depot Road and uh, Clearwater Drive, they're proposed to uh, be hung from fixed mast arms and fixed poles. Natural gas uh, is also considered uh, to be part of this project and possibly underground power. And we'll talk about these components a little bit more detail. What might this look like, this plan for Route 1? Here are some proposed views. At the top left you see an existing condition where we look north on Route 1 uh, in the vicinity of the Bath Savings Institution and the bottom right is uh, what Route 1 could look like. You see street trees, you see wider sidewalks, you see a green esplanade and you see a, the landscaped islands uh, that I just talked about along with some ornamental lights as well as some new construction in the background. 
Um, this is a hypothetical building that could be built on the Falmouth Shopping Center property close to Route 1. This plan is being proposed to make this an improved environment, but to also encourage additional private investment on Route 1. Here's another view. Now we're looking south on Route 1 in the vicinity of the shops at uh, Falmouth Village. Uh, you have a view of the landscaped center islands, and you see that those islands uh, have gaps in between uh, at the locations where driveways access uh, Route 1 so that left turns can still be possible under this plan. There are about nine landscaped islands proposed along with about nine curb cuts. They are relatively short in distance to make sure that accessibility to the businesses is being maintained. Here's a third view, and now we're looking north on Route 1 uh, in the vicinity of Depot Road, and the white building in the center of the screen is Levitt and Sons. Um, you see uh, the ornamental lights, you see some banners on those poles that could announce uh, town events. Uh, you see the uh, landscaped uh, median islands with that turn lane opportunity to make sure that you can enter uh, Pratt Abbott on the right. You can take a left uh, turn onto Depot Road and you see a uh, paved uh, shoulder suitable for biking. The sidewalk is proposed to be widened uh, to about 10 feet, which would allow pedestrians to walk safely, but also allow space for younger, less experienced bicycles uh, to, to bicycle in a protected uh, environment. Uh, here is a very similar view, but the key difference is uh, the overhead power lines. Let me uh, go back for a second. In this view, you see the overhead power lines. We kept them in place. In this particular scenario, the landscape architect placed them underground, and you see the visual difference. This has been a big topic of discussion with the Community Development Committee. Uh, people generally like this view, but it does come at a price. Um, all these views really are representative of the actual plan, and here is a view of Route 1 as if you're in a balloon hovering over Route 1. We're looking at the section um, where the curb cuts to the in the middle of the page uh, are the curb cuts that uh, access the Walmart property. And across the street are uh, the Dunkin' Donuts property, McDonald's, and on the right side is Depot Road. On the left side is Clearwater Drive and Fundy Road to give you an orientation. This is only a sample section of the plan. The, the corridor itself is about a mile long and there are several sheets that depict where the islands uh, could be built, where curb cuts are proposed to be modified, uh, where left turn lanes would still exist, where interconnections between private properties are possible, uh, etc., etc. The legend gives you an idea of the various components of the plan, the travel way, the islands, uh, the paved shoulder, the sidewalk, etc., etc. Natural gas, I already mentioned it, and it is expected to be installed in Route 1 as part of this project. But what's important to remember is that the cost for the gas line installation uh, is proposed to be borne by others. Right now, the town of Falmouth is considering two proposals to supply natural gas uh, to our town, one by Summit Natural Gas, the other by Maine Natural Gas. And these proposals are being considered in conjunction with the town of Cumberland and the town of Yarmouth. Uh, we do expect that one of those companies would be selected, they would get their required permits, and that natural gas uh, could potentially be part of construction along Route 1. Again, at a cost to be paid by others. Uh, the cost for this plan, it's about $10.8 million dollars if you include underground power, it's about $5.6 million if underground power is not part of the plan. So clearly the underground power piece, currently estimated as about $5 million, is a significant component and the town council is very interested to hear how people feel about that. The proposed financing for the project, as I mentioned before, would be paid for by money already set aside specifically for improvements in the Route 1 business district. Um, without going into the very specific details of tax increment financing, or TIF, as some of you may have heard spoken about, uh, the Route 1 financing plan 
would not include any property taxes from outside the district to fund that, this particular project. Also, no increase in the tax rate is required to fund this project. And the properties in the district do not pay any extra taxes. There is no surcharge that those properties pay. They pay the same tax rate as any other property in town. It's just that a share of their taxes is being set aside in a fund for improvements in that district. And the other share of their taxes goes into the general fund, just like most of the taxes of the town. How much money is currently set aside in this Route 1 fund? Uh, right now, we have about $2.3 million in the fund. Uh, if there was a $10.8 million project, uh, the debt financing for that would be completely paid off by 2030. The plan is currently being refined and revised because public meetings have been held with property owners and business owners along Route 1. Adjustments are being made here and there. And the revised plan, which we call the preliminary plan, is expected to be rolled out at a public forum on Wednesday, February 27th at 7 o'clock in Falmouth Town Hall in the Council Chambers. We invite anyone who has interest to see this plan and to comment on the plan or ask questions about the plan to come to Town Hall on February 27th. If you wanted to learn more about the plan and wanted to take a peek at these graphics that I showed you or look at the cost estimate that was prepared by our consultants, you can go to the town's webpage, www.town.falmouth.me.us. Scroll down a little bit because there is a big announcement on natural gas at the top, but right below it is an announcement on Route 1. You can click on that and that gets you to a page that gives you all the information that you may want to take a look at. If you have any questions or would like any more information or have comments that you would like to be forwarded to the Community Development Committee, you can contact me, Theo Holtweg, Director of Long Range Planning. My direct line is 699-5340 and you see my email address on the screen. We very much look forward to your participation to make Route 1 an even better place for Falmouth. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day.